I have a lazy girl ponytail today. That's when I'm really lazy and I don't want to do my hair, so I just put it in a ponytail because it kind of looks cute. <laughs> and that's pretty much every day of my life, so yeah. Hi guys, it's Mitty and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a little Q&A video. On my previous video, I asked you guys to leave me some questions and you did. And I picked some out and I guess we're just going to answer them. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I have the questions on my phone, so we're just gonna go ahead and start answering them. So the first question comes from Psychopathic Thug Pug. Thug Pug, I really like your name. Um, so here she asks, will you still be doing the 100 baby challenge? So I actually was going to start that challenge back in, I think November, was it November? I don't know, um, back sometime last year. It was either October or November, I'm not too sure. Uh, and I actually retextured a whole bunch of stuff for the challenge, and I think I have it like 80% finished, but I just gotten so sidetracked with like other things that have been going on that I haven't really gotten to finish setting up that challenge. But if you guys still want to see it for Minecraft, let me know down in the comment section below. I know it's really popular right now and everybody's kind of doing it. It's on The Sims and now it's for Minecraft, but seriously, it just looks like a really fun challenge and I kind of want to do it after I finish the bunny challenge. Um, so yeah, if you guys are still up for that series, let me know down the comment section below and I can hurry up and try and get the textures finished and put it out. And the next question comes from Ellie Dog Games and she asks, do you want to dye your hair any other colors? If so, which ones? So as you can see, I am taking a huge break from dyeing my hair. My roots are just kind of out of control right now uh, but as far as any other colors go I don't I I mean I see other colors and I think they're really really beautiful but every time I've dyed my hair a different color I've always regretted it and I've always been like I should have just kept the deal so as of right now no no other colors and when I do finally choose to do my roots again my whole head's gonna be teal I, I love teal and the next question comes from I'm too crazy for you and he or she asks what is your real name? My real name is Melissa. Uh, even though I feel like Mitty is my real name, I've had the nickname Mitty since I was 15. So I've had that nickname for 15 years and there are very few people in my life that call me Melissa anymore. Um, so yeah, my real name is Melissa. Fun. And the next question comes from Kawaii Plays Games and she asks Will the bunny challenge continue? And of course it's going to continue. I'm going to put out a new episode on Wednesday and I can't wait to finish. I'm almost done with that challenge. Uh, so yeah, the bunny challenge will continue on Wednesday. And the next question comes from Leah Bear and she asks, what is your guilty pleasure food wise? So there is this amazing vegan donut shop in LA where I live and it's called Donut Friend and they sell these amazing donuts and any excuse for me to go and get some donuts, me and my boyfriend always go and we get like a dozen donuts and they are gone within a day because they are just so good. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my guilty pleasure. And the next question comes from Emily Chen and she asks, can you do a draw my life? And I can do a draw my life. I have plans to do one when I hit 200k, so that should be sometime soon. But I really want to do one. I've always wanted to do one ever since they were really, really popular. And I know not too many people are doing them anymore, but uh, I still think it would be really fun to try and do one. So yes, a draw my life will be in the future soon. <laughs> And the next question comes from I am a minor dude and he asks will you be making more Minecraft series even after the bunny challenge has finished? Yes, I do have plans for maybe the 100 baby challenge and the next one I have is another idea for a series that I'm not going to say what it's going to be about, but I do have an idea for one more Minecraft series. Um and so yes, I do have some plans to make some new Minecraft series once the bunny challenge is finished. Three, two, one. 
So the next question comes from Genesis Dominguez and she asks, will you ever go to a convention like Minecon PAX? So I do want to go to at least one convention this year and the one that I really want to go to is PAX Seattle. So yes, I am going to try and go to that one this year. Hopefully, hopefully we can. Um, but if not, I'm not too sure about Minecon. I don't know where they're having it this year. And sometimes they just have them really far and they're really expensive. So uh, I don't know. It depends on where they have it. But as far as I know, I know I will probably be going to PAX Seattle. So yes, I will be going to at least one convention this year. And the next question comes from AA Productions and here she asks, do you have any advice when you are getting a pet bunny? And I do have some advice. Please do your research, a lot of it, and make sure that a bunny is a perfect fit for you and your family. Some things to consider when getting a pet bunny are, they are a 10 year plus commitment. They are considered exotic animals, so their vet bills are really, really expensive. And they require a special diet. And when you are getting a bunny, please don't shop, adopt. So those are some things to consider. And if a bunny is a perfect fit for you and your family, I would say do it to get a pet bunny. It's the best decision that I've ever made. I grew up with bunnies and I love bunnies. And uh, they are such sweet, magical little creatures. And uh, we are actually considering getting one more really, really soon. So yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a bunny lover and I, I would do anything for my rabbit. I love her to death. <laughs> and the next question comes from Arcadio Moreno and he or she asks, are you gonna upload more Sims vids? And I am, I am gonna upload some Sims vids really, really soon. Um, I have a few ideas for a series and for some creator sims that I'm really excited about and I am so behind on the sims. So many expansions have came out and I have none of them. So I have to, I have to buy those and get caught back up on all the new content that has been released for it. But yeah, uh, I will be putting out some new sims vids really, really soon. So the next question comes from Wisteria Bell and she asks, how do you stay so positive, especially in times when it's hard to be? Uh, trying to stay positive in a bad situation takes a lot of effort, but some things that do help me is keeping a journal where I can write down my thoughts and feelings. Uh, surrounding myself with positive and supportive people who care about me um, and pretty much just understanding that whatever I'm going through at the moment isn't going to last forever it's very temporary and once it's done I am going to come out a better and stronger person because of it so those are a few things that help me when I'm going through um, a tough situation so those are all the questions I have for you guys today I actually want to do one of these Q&A's every week so if you have some more questions you guys would like to ask me leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them for next week's video but other than that thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye Thank <laughs> you.